morning. Woke up to some snow. Snowed all night. And last night of all times it could have happened, my bunk heater stopped working. So I didn't have any heat and I didn't idle my truck. Got a little cold, but nothing that I couldn't handle. Well, let's get this ice and uh, headlights and everything clean. That's more like it. We ready to roll now. Glasses, vest. We are checking in. My shit washer fluid is not working. I don't know why. I don't know if they'll uh, give you a ticket for it or not, but I know they check it when they do inspection. So hopefully we can get back home so we can figure it out. Then I had to replace my windshield wiper because one of my windshield wipers broke off. Bunk heater is not working. It's just on and keep on and on and on. I really figured out my problem. Now it's working. I took the hose off. So this piece here slides into your windshield wiper. So I took this off, cleaned out the ice, but it's got the hose clogged. So I'm trying to unclog the hole with something. They're sliding this one all the way in you have to get it even with this little uh rim the edge of the metal piece there see the top piece is the part we slid in so you got to get it even so sometimes it's hard to push it in there with the hands so what i did i took some uh, needle nose pliers and put it on the front of the uh, piece of the bracket and pushed the back piece and slid it on in there that way it wouldn't make it even I want to show you how to also take it out so uh, what you want to do is open your windshield wiper and then this piece right here the piece that we're working on you see I already got it out so remember over there we use to push it together we put it like that and squeezed it to push it back in there so to take it out you put something like a needle nose pliers or some sharp object you hold that frame of the metal clip that's on the windshield wiper so you hold it with your hand so it won't move because if you just try to push the piece out this frame part would slide back and forth so you want to hold it so it doesn't move and then you just insert something inside that nozzle there to push it out just like this so you put something right there in the middle and you push it while you're holding that whole assembly with your other hand that way you'll push it out I may have to switch out the driver and passenger side nozzles, switch them out because the uh, driver side just puts a good amount in the center of the windshield and the passenger side has a high pressure and does from bottom to top because I think I dug out the driver side nozzle a little too much. I uh, checked in at the place this morning at six o'clock in the, I mean not six o'clock in the morning, our appointment was at six o'clock in the morning, but uh, I told the broker we weren't gonna make it at six o'clock in the morning yesterday when we got picked up because they sent us to the wrong place as you see in the previous video they sent us to the wrong place didn't have the right pickup number or nothing so it took us forever to get loaded and our appointment was at six o'clock in the morning so i told him we're gonna be late he said about what time i said 8 30 to 9 he was like all right i just talked to the receiver you're good to go 
So I was like, all right, cool. I got on a text message. So then I come check in at eight o'clock and they said, oh, your appointment was supposed to be at six. So you got to call this number and reschedule. And I was like, yeah, they already called and said that we were good to go. And it was like, no, nobody let us know anything. So I was like, are you kidding me? So then I came and I had to find a parking spot because you can't park at the facility. So you have to park on the side of the road. So you have to turn left at the stop sign, go down and turn left back into the parking lot. But See the winds blowing and the snow is blowing all over the place. Looks like big clouds and smoke. But so anyway, I uh, called the broker and the broker said, yeah, we're on it. We're trying to hear from them. I waited an hour, still didn't hear anything. So I called the number myself for the reschedule. And they were like, yeah, we're pretty busy today. It's probably not going to be today. So we're trying to work you in. We're trying to escalate it. And I was like, okay, great. I'm probably going to be sitting here all day and not be able to unload. So I was talking to the broker and I asked him, you know, like how much layover and stuff to pay. He was like, well, you were late to the appointment, so you probably wouldn't get it. And I was like, wasn't no fault of my own. Y'all sent me to the wrong place, then I had to pick up the number and then they took forever to load me. So how was I supposed to make it on time? And he was like, well, we'll take care of you. Uh, let, let's just wait to hear back from the company. So I was like, all right. So I'm sitting here and the broker calls me. It's like, hey, I got you an appointment at two o'clock. So I'm like, yes, I don't have to wait all day. Then he hangs up. And then the broker that I was dealing with and his company, he called me. He was like, hey, I was like, yeah, two o'clock. He was like, yeah, uh, just sent you the new rate confirmation. So I was like, all right, cool. Thank you. Then the first guy called me right back after I hung up with him. And he was like, hey, actually, I just got emailed. They have a spot open at 11 too. So you can go ahead and go check in in like 15 minutes if that works. And I was like, yeah, it's perfect. I'll take it at 11. And I was like, okay, so he hangs up. As soon as he hangs up, somebody else calls me. It was like, hey, I just seen the notes here. Somebody updated uh, 11 o'clock, so it'll be 11 o'clock, not 2 o'clock. And I was like, all right, cool. And I was telling him everybody keeps calling me and everything. And so he's like, oh, sorry about that. I was like, no, no. I mean, I've been totally on the opposite side of the spectrum before where you don't have no communication. So I was like, man, this is awesome. I'm glad you guys are on it. You know, I'm not trying to sit here all day. I'm trying to get moving, you know. So I go to check in 11 o'clock and I'm there and I gave her the paper and everything. And she was like, all right, now we put you in line. So here's your papers again. So go on the street and park again. And then we'll call you when we're ready for you. So I was there the first time they sent me away until I can come check in and went my appointment. So I got a new appointment, came to check in again. And they just to tell them, just for them to tell me, hey, go park again. And then now we put you in line. So we'll call you on your phone when we're ready. Couldn't they just wrote down my number before? Or I could have called them and told them like, hey, you know, give me a number to call you. And I'll say, hey, I got an appointment and can you go ahead and put me in line or whatever, you know, instead of making me drive all the way there, trying to find parking. It is what it is. You got to deal with stuff like this out here sometimes. So hopefully we get unloaded. We'll shall see. And I also fixed my windshield wiper, so that's good. I need to take a look at my lights on my fenders and I also need to take a look Maybe at a uh, fuse from a bunk heater or something. It says blower motor, so I don't know. We'll see. Can't even see. Wind is blowing the snow. Well, I'm eating some butter cookies, basically, and drinking some coffee. We're still waiting on them to call us. finally got us a door door number 23 for your old school fellas that's jordan for the millenniums is lebron lebron james yeah my trailer gonna be a mess when it get done
the uh, next load. This load is taking us home to Fairburn, Georgia. So we're picking up at Niagara Falls, the same place we dropped off at, but like 20 miles down the street. We already got us back in already. We gotta unhook the uh, red airline and uh, I think it's gonna be dog food. It might even be blue buffalo in Georgia where we have to deliver to. Airline well, this is going to be it, guys. Uh, what a day. Lots of stuff I found that, that was wrong. My bunk heater, my windshield wiper broke. Fixed my windshield washer fluid nozzles. Now it squirts out, but I have to get the other situations under control. Had to wait forever uh, to get unloaded. I didn't think I was going to be able to get loaded today, but thank God I got unloaded. I thought I was going to have to lay over till tomorrow or who knows. And most of all, we're headed back home. So God bless you. Thank you for watching. It's because of you. I keep making videos. Thank you. Keep watching, like, subscribe, and share.